In this video, we are going to show you the top 9 passive income strategies to help you make money online. We are going to talk about what exactly is passive income and show you ideas on how you can create it in your spare time. What are the most promising passive income strategies? The following video is for anyone who wants to earn money without having to put in a lot of effort. In this section, we'll go over some of the best passive income ideas that will provide you with a good return on your investment. Let's look at some money-making ideas for you. But first, what is passive income, and how does it work? It is regular income when you receive a paycheck from your employer. According to the Internal Revenue Service, one can earn passive income from two sources, rental property or a business in which one does not actively participate, such as receiving royalty payments on books or stock dividends. However, in practice, you may be required to perform some or all the work up front, but passive income is frequently accompanied by some additional labor along the way. To keep your passive income coming in, you might need to keep your product or rental property in good shape. However, if you are committed to the strategy, it can be a great way to generate income, and you will also be able to build some additional financial security for yourself because of your efforts. Two examples of what passive income is not. A second job. Getting a second job will not qualify as a passive income stream because you will still be required to show up and perform the necessary tasks to be compensated. Passive income is the creation of a consistent stream of income without the need for you to put in long hours or effort to achieve it. Non-income generating assets. Passive income from investments can be a great source of additional income, but only if the assets you own pay dividends or interest. Cryptocurrencies may be exciting, but they will not provide you with passive income in the long run. So, here are 9 ideas for generating passive income to help you build wealth. When considering how to generate passive income, Look at these strategies and learn what it takes to be successful with each one, as well as the risks associated with each one, before deciding. 1. Write an ebook. Writing an ebook can be a good opportunity to take advantage of the low cost of publishing and even leverage the worldwide distribution of Amazon to get your book in front of millions of potential buyers. Ebooks can be short, perhaps 25 to 50 pages in length, and can be relatively inexpensive to produce since they rely on your own knowledge and expertise to be successful. You'll need to be an expert on a specific topic, but the topic could be niche and require some special skills or abilities that only a small number of people possess but that many readers require. You can quickly design the book on an online platform and then test market different titles and price points. Selling your ebook on Amazon is a straightforward process. For more information, please see the link in the description. Not much of a writer? Check out the link in the description on a software that we use, and I would highly recommend it. It is necessary for your ebook to be well written or informative to garner a following, and it is also beneficial to have some means of marketing it as well. As a result, you could put in a lot of effort up front and receive very little in return, especially in the beginning stages. In addition, while having an ebook is nice, it will be even better if you write more and then build a business around it, or if you make the book one part of your business that strengthens the other parts. As a result, your greatest risk is likely to be that you waste your time for little reward. If you're getting value from this video and are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for updates. Subscribing is free and helps the YouTube algorithm show our videos to other people. It helps our channel grow. Enjoy the rest of the countdown. 2. Create an app. It may be possible to make an initial time investment and then reap the benefits over time by developing an application. Your app could be a game, or it could be designed to assist mobile users in performing a difficult task. Once your app is made available to the public, users will be able to download it and use it to earn money. If you can design an app that piques the interest of your target audience, you stand to gain significantly from it. You'll need to think about how you'll generate the most revenue from your app. You could, for example, run ads inside the app or charge people to download it, for example. You will almost certainly need to add incremental features to your app if it becomes popular or if you receive positive feedback. This will allow you to keep the app relevant and popular. The most significant danger here is that you will waste your time in an inefficient manner. As long as you commit little or no money to the project, or money that you would have spent on hardware anyway, for example, you will have little financial risk. Even though it's a very competitive market, apps that are truly successful need to offer their users something that they want or need in order to be successful. The popularity of apps can also be fleeting, which means that your cash flow may be depleted much more quickly than you anticipate. 3. Create a blog or a YouTube channel. 
Are you a travel expert who specializes in trips to Las Vegas? Are you a Fortnite guru? Take your interest in a particular subject and turn it into a blog or a YouTube channel, generating income through advertisements or sponsorships. Find a popular subject, even if it is a small niche, and devote your time and energy to becoming an expert on it. Over time, your content could earn you a steady income. It will take some time to build an audience and create a wide range of content. You can take advantage of a free, or very low-cost, platform and then use your content to grow your following. The more distinctive your voice or your area of interest, the more likely it is that you will be the person to follow. Then you'll be able to attract sponsors. You'll have to create a lot of content at the beginning and then maintain it over time, which can take a long time. And you'll need to be enthusiastic about the product, as this will help you maintain the motivation to keep going, especially at the beginning when your followers are still figuring out how to find you. The real disadvantage here is that if there is little interest in your subject or niche, you can spend a lot of time and resources with little to show for it, which can be frustrating. You may find that your area of expertise is too specialized to attract a large enough audience to be profitable, but you won't know for sure until you try it out. 4. Affiliate Marketing By including a link to a third-party product on their website or social media account, website owners, social media, influencers, and bloggers can promote a product and earn commissions. Amazon may be the most well-known affiliate network, but ClickBank, eBay, and ShareASale are also among the better affiliate networks. Instagram and TikTok, in particular, have grown in popularity as platforms for those seeking to build a following and promote their products. You might also think about building an email list to draw attention to your blog or to direct people to products and services that they might be interested in learning more about. Whenever a visitor clicks on the link to the third-party affiliate's website and completes a purchase, the link owner receives a commission. Because the commission could range from 3 to 7%, it is likely that you will need a significant amount of traffic to your site to generate income. It is possible, however, to make a substantial amount of money if you can grow your audience or specialize in a more lucrative niche, such as software, financial services, or fitness. Affiliate marketing is considered passive because, in theory, you can earn money simply by including a link to your website or social media account on other people's websites. In reality, you will not make any money if you are unable to attract visitors to your website who will then click on the link and make a purchase. When it comes to building an audience, it can take a long time, and you'll have to figure out how to attract your target audience in the first place. It is possible that your audience will stop following you and start following the next popular influencer, trend, or social media platform after you have spent all of your time and energy on them. 5. Make money selling photographs. Selling photography online may not seem like the most obvious place to start a passive business, but it has the potential to allow you to scale your efforts, especially if you are able to sell the same images over and over again. Then, you could work with a company like Pixabay, Pexels or Getty Images, in order to do this. To get started, you must first be approved by the platform, after which you must license your photos. The platform then compensates you for each time your photograph is used. Images that appeal to a specific audience or that depict a specific scene will be required, and you'll need to figure out where there is a demand for these images. Photographs could include shots of models, landscapes, imaginative scenarios, and other subjects, or they could capture real-life events. One of the benefits of selling or licensing your photos through a platform is that you have the potential to scale your efforts, especially if you are able to provide images that will be in high demand. As a result, you could potentially sell the same image hundreds, thousands, or even millions of times. You could upload hundreds of photos to a stock photography platform like Getty Images and discover that none of them make any money. All of your money could come from a few photos, so you must keep adding photos. In order to go out and shoot photos, then process them, and keep up with the events that may ultimately drive your revenue, it may be necessary to put in some effort. And maintaining motivation may be difficult. Every subsequent photo may appear to be a lottery ticket, though this is almost certainly not the case. 6. Sponsored posts on social media. What kind of social media following do you have? Do you have a large number of followers on Instagram or TikTok? Increase your chances of getting paid by growing consumer brands by posting about their products or otherwise featuring them in your feed. However, you'll need to keep updating your profile with relevant content that attracts your target audience. And that means that you should keep posting content on social media that will make your audience more visible and encourage them to interact with you. Your own affiliate links can be used in conjunction with sponsored posts as a means of directing consumers to your products. 
After that, you'll get your commission. Making use of your social media presence as a business model is an appealing business model. Increase the number of people who see and click on your profile by creating compelling content, and then monetize that content by arranging sponsored posts from brands that are relevant to your followers. In order to receive meaningful sponsored posts, you must have a large audience. However, until you have a large audience, you are not an attractive option. As a result, you'll have to devote a significant amount of time to building your audience, with no assurance that you'll be successful. You may spend a lot of time following trends and making content in the hope that you will one day get the sponsorship you want. Even after you've secured the sponsored posts you're looking for, you'll need to keep posting to maintain your audience's interest. It requires making a greater commitment in terms of both time and money, even if you have a great deal of control over when you choose to do it. 7. Selling your designs online. It's possible to turn your design skills into a moneymaker by selling items that have your printed designs on them. It's possible to sell t-shirts and other things that have your own logo on them on websites like Shopify. Cafe Press and Zazzle are also good places to sell things like mugs and t-shirts with your own logo. Consider capitalizing on the current craze for something current and designing a shirt that captures the spirit of the moment, or at least a snarky take on it. If you want to market your products online, you can set up a web storefront on a platform like Shopify to sell your products and make money. One of the most significant risks associated with tying up your capital can be avoided by using printing partners to ship items rather than directly investing in the merchandise. The possibility of investing a significant amount of time with little return is another significant risk, but this option may be appealing if you're already doing design work for another reason, such as for personal interest. 8. Create an online course. The creation of an audio or video course, followed by the creation of a passive income strategy, is a popular method of generating passive income. After creating your product, you can sit back and watch the money roll in. Skills can be shared and sold on websites such as Skillshare and Fiverr. Alternatively, you could consider a free model, in which you first gain a following by providing free content and then charge for more detailed information or those interested in learning more about your product. This model may be used by language instructors and stock picking advisors, among other things. Giving away free content shows that you know what you're talking about, which could draw people who want to move up the ladder. A course can provide a lucrative income stream because you can earn money quickly after putting in the necessary time and effort to complete it. It takes a tremendous amount of effort to develop a product, and for it to be profitable, it must be excellent. There isn't any room for trash out there, believe me. 9. Turning your car into a moving billboard. You might be able to make a little extra money by simply driving around in your car around the neighborhood. Contact a specialized advertising agency, which will assess your driving habits, including where you go and how many miles you cover. The agency will wrap your car with advertisements if you are a good match for one of their advertisers. Agencies are looking for vehicles that are less than three years old, and drivers should have a clean driving record. While you will have to get in your car and drive, if you are already putting in the miles, this is a great way to earn hundreds of dollars per month with little or no additional effort. Drivers can be compensated on a per mile basis. Which passive income source is the most profitable? The most appropriate passive income source is dependent on a number of factors, but the most important ones are the amount of money you have to invest, the size of the overall opportunity, and your interest and ability. It is possible to earn passive income even if you are just starting out with a small amount of money or even if you have no money at all to begin with. How many different sources of income should you have? The number of sources of income you have should be determined by where you are in your financial life and what your financial objectives are for the future. However, having at least a few is a good place to start. As we progress further into the 21st century, it is critical to constantly be on the lookout for new and innovative ways to make money. In this video, we've outlined some of the most promising passive income opportunities for this year. Online marketing, creating a blog or a YouTube channel, or starting your own business are all ways to make money. Still not sure of the right thing for you? Click here to continue your journey to financial freedom and independence. Comment below on a strategy that worked for you or maybe an idea not on this list. Thanks for watching.